Hi guys, welcome back to Coco 3D. In this video, we are going to implement all new Unity authentication in our game. So let's get started. So we will start with downloading the package. So for that, click on Windows, Package Manager, and under the Unity registry, search for authentication. So here it is. Click on it and click install. Now our package is successfully installed and it asks us for connecting to Unity dashboard. So let's do it. Now click on project settings and under the services panel, we will select our organization and then we will click on create project ID. And we do not appeal to children under age 13. Now let's move on to Unity dashboard. So click sign in and here we have our Unity dashboard. Now if you don't know how to create an account, you can watch my previous video. The link is in the description. Now click on explore services and now in the authentication option, click setup. Now click on setup authentication and now we don't have to do anything here. So let's jump back into unity and create a UI for sign in. So let's create a button for sign in and a status text which will display our status like we are logged in or not. Now let's create an object in a scene and name it as auth manager. So let me just reset it and let's create a script which will do all the login work. So let's create it. Cool. Now let's open it and start some coding. So first we have to add using unity.services.core. Then we have to add using unity.services.authentication. Then using system.threading.task. And at last we have to add using unityengine.ui. Now let's just get rid of this start and update and create a text for status which will display whether we are logged in or not. Now let's create a async start and using the await we will call unity services dot initialize async. Now we mostly use this asynchronous functions because they run in side by side manner to our main thread and this property is very useful in the unity services. So we are almost gonna use it everywhere. Now let's create a sign in function. And again, it is also going to be a async function. Now before moving further, let's discuss the types of authentication that Unity provides. Now first is the anonymous sign-in in which we can sign into our game without the use of any credential due to which we mostly use it for the testing purposes. And other is the platform specific sign-in in which we have a lot other third parties sign-in options like Facebook, Google, Google Play Games, Steam and, and a lot other options. So now let's first implement this anonymous sign-in and then we will move on to this platform specific sign-in. So let's create a new async task and name it as sign-in anonymous and we will call it from the sign-in function. Now in this task we just have to write await authentication service dot instance dot sign in anonymously async. Now this statement will tell Unity to log into our game without the use of any credential but it can lead to some error maybe because of the network error or anything else so we will put it inside the try catch statement and if it leads to some error we will just print sign in failed and if it does not lead to any error we will print sign in success and we can also print the player id using the authentication service dot instance dot player id which is basically a kind of a token which helps in representing a specific player in the unity dashboard or in their database so let's just log this player id into the status text and we have to change this catch statement to authentication exception so let me just print this exception too and we have to make this sign in function a public function because we have to call it from a click of a button so now let me just drag and drop my status text and link my sign in button to my sign in function okay now let's play the game and check that it works or not now let me click the sign in button and here it says that sign in success and it prints the player id so that means we are now anonymously sign in without the use of any credentials and now it's time for the platform specific sign in so now in the platform specific sign in let's say we want to sign in into our game by the help of the facebook so in that case we have to implement the entire facebook login feature separately just like we do it normally which means we have to create an app into the facebook developers page then we have to download its facebook sdk 
and then we have to write a custom script which will talk to the Facebook server and helps us log in. And when we'll get the access token from the Facebook server, we have to pass that token to the Unity server by the help of which Unity will identify that we are now successfully logged in using the Facebook. So let's say we have now successfully implemented the Facebook login feature and we have a Facebook access token. So in that case, we have to go into our Unity dashboard and we have to add the Facebook as our identity provider. And it will ask you to enter the app ID and the app secret which are easily accessible in the Facebook developers page. And after filling the information, you can just enable this identity provider and click on add provider. And in the scripting side, we just have to change a little bit code. So let's say we have a Facebook token and instead of this sign in anonymous task, we will create a new task and name it as sign in with Facebook under which we will write await authentication service dot instance dot sign in with Facebook async and we will pass in the Facebook token. So let me just create a token variable for that and then we will just pass it. Now with the help of this statement, Unity will identify us that we are now successfully logged in using Facebook. But again, this can lead to some network or some other errors. So we will put in, in a try catch statement. And if it is successful, then we will just print the sign in with Facebook success. And in the catch statement, we will just copy paste the authentication exception from the anonymous function. And in addition to that, we have to add one more catch, which is request failed exception. And we will only just print that exception. And with that, we are now successfully logged in using Facebook and we can do the exact same thing for the other identity provider. For example, if we have to do it for this team, we have to again integrate the Steam SDK from start to end. And after when we get the token from the Steam, we will just create a variable for that. And then we will just copy paste this function and change its name to sign in with Steam. And instead of sign in with Facebook async, we will just change it to sign in with Steam async. And that's it. You are now successfully logged in with the Steam. And I think you got the idea for doing it for the other identity providers. And now with that, our entire authentication process is now finished. I hope you guys like this video. Now I will see you in the next video. But till then, thanks for watching and bye bye.